By night, the predatory hawks and eagles are replaced by the owls. Only some 3% of the bird species of southern Africa are night birds. Scop's owl seems entirely insectivorous, searching at dusk on the ground for its food. A dwarf owl, and one of only two small eared species, it prefers the warmer woodlands. It sleeps, superbly camouflaged, against the bark of a tree trunk by day. The great Galego, or large grey bush baby, is one of four African species. A tree dweller related to monkeys and apes, though more primitive, it feeds at night on seeds, fruit, pollen, honey, insects and bird's eggs, leaping perhaps four metres from branch to branch. Galegos are territorial, marking out their chosen area by pacing it with hands and feet wetted in urine. They cry like a baby, hence the name, and shriek in alarm. The giant, or Vero's eagle owl, is a huge bird and a fierce killer of galegos, hares, guinea fowl, rats. When alert, the ear tufts are raised. Like parrots, owls have the rare ability to raise food to the beak with a foot. Highly developed sight, and more especially hearing, make them deadly night killers. Pell's fishing owl. Very rare in southern Africa, it hunts at night from a perch over shallows and backwaters. The long claws and naked feet with rough soles are well adapted for gripping fish or frogs. Apart from the communicating call, Pell's fishing owl utters a weird, unearthly howl in the night. The black-backed jackal, a possible ancestor of the domestic dog, is mainly nocturnal. They scavenge, and like lion and hyena, may sometimes watch vultures as a lead to carrion. But they will kill for themselves, hares, ground birds, very small buck. They usually hunt singly or in pairs and tend to attack the throat. Their calls in the night are chilling and eerie.
The Natal robin lives deep in the matted undergrowth of subtropical forest. A great mockingbird, he mimics many other calls, even the fish eagle. In the vicinity of habitation, he goes one better and imitates the neighbor's dog, yapping and whining. The Natal robin seems to perform at his best in high humidity and on windless days. It is often host to Pitma Fro, the red-chested cuckoo. The stripes of the common or birchall zebra may seem the reverse of camouflage, but in the shimmering heat of the open felt or in thin acacia bush country, they blur and colours and shapes fuse in bewildering confusion. The bark of the stallions is a rallying call. The process of birth takes about seven minutes. Foals can crop at a few days and graze easily at two weeks. Zebra often share grazing ground with wildebeest and both are favoured prey of the larger predators. In the nesting season, the female yellow-billed hornbill barricades herself into the nesting hole with dung and mud brought by the male, leaving only a narrow slit for feeding and for the forceful ejection of droppings and other debris. This call is most often heard in the mating season. During her incarceration, the hen molts almost completely. Incubation takes about 21 days. She leaves the nest some three weeks after hatching occurs to help feed the young. The half-grown chicks, two or three of them usually, then rebuild the entrance themselves, a most remarkable piece of behaviour. Here, the cock brings food for the chicks. Another of southern Africa's endangered species, which seems to be sliding back to the dark abyss of extinction. In spite of its seemingly savage method of pack hunting and killing, tearing the living flesh from running prey until it drops, the Cape hunting dog also helps to keep the balance of nature, seeking out the weak, the old or the very young, usually amongst the smaller herbivores, though they can bring down full-grown kudu. The hunters engorge themselves at the kill and return to the guardians and pups who share the regurgitated meat. This soft, mournful call is very characteristic of bush country. It is most noticeable on still, hot days. 
The emerald spotted wood dove is a grain and weed seed eater. It may be seen on the ground in clearings or on dirt roads more often in the late afternoon. The bird rises and lands abruptly. The eggs are cream coloured. The emerald wing spots stand out clearly. The brindled new gets its name from its call. In southern Africa, it is generally called the blue wildebeest, from the Afrikaans meaning wild cattle. With horns like crescent moons, a beard, and a tail like a horse's, it is an odd, almost comical grazer on more open terrain. The alarm snort is strangely lacking in urgency to the human ear. Dominant bulls are territorial during the rut and will defend their cows and offspring fiercely. Cows and calves continually communicate, especially in the thick of the herd and at the drinking place. The bearded woodpecker is one of the larger species. It prefers dry acacia thorn and mopani country. Usually found in pairs, they communicate by noisy drumming with the beak on wood. The alarm call is sharp, loud and nasal. Bearded woodpeckers feed on insects and their grubs and larvae found in and behind the bark of dead trees. This is the sound they make as they search for food. Elephant. A big bull may weigh up to six tons and a calf at birth 90 kilograms. It took some 60 million years to evolve the trunk, a fusion of the upper lip and the nose. This all-purpose tool is used for plucking grass, stripping leaves, scenting, drinking and dusting. The tusks are canines extended from the upper jaw. Elephants tend to favour either the right or left tusk for digging, shifting trees, etc so one may become worn down more than the other. Their eyesight is poor, perhaps only some 25 meters. An adult elephant may consume around 200 kilograms of vegetable matter daily. No wonder it uses up six separate sets of molars in its full lifespan. the paradise flycatcher, an active, fast-moving, graceful little bird of considerable beauty, it flits about, calling and taking insects on the wing. The cup-shaped nest is about five centimeters in diameter, bound with webby material and lichens stuck to the exterior as camouflage. The eggs are creamy and rose-tinted with chestnut spots.
leopard, another of Africa's endangered species. In the early 70s, the world trade in skins was about 20,000 a year. The leopard's range is over much of Africa and Asia. It is a territorial, solitary hunter setting up its own private estate. <coughs> Secretive, wary, with exceptionally keen senses, this intelligent, remarkably adaptable inhabitant of thickets and darkness has the most varied diet of any of the African cats. Baboon, dussy, jackal, guinea fowl, even storks. On the hunt, it will sound like this. The ringing cry of the fish eagle, with head thrown back, is one of the most evocative African bird calls. The great talons and roughened soles help hold slippery fish, which it may strike from a tremendous stoop, sometimes going right under. At nesting time, this call is also heard. Fish eagles mate for life. Incubation takes about 48 days in the large, crudely structured nest of sticks in a bush on a cliff edge or in a large tree difficult of access. Here will be reared proud young birds who in their turn will utter the clear and challenging call ringing across the skies of southern Africa. <coughs> <coughs> 